ladies. So it is Friday at five o'clock. If you are here watching this, you have made it through another work week, which may be a miracle and it may not be. It might depend on where you work. If you work at home like I do, sometimes it, it, that is the largest miracle that ever happens. Okay, I made sure I put on my do not disturb so that we don't get disturbed. Hi, Marjorie. Good to see you. How did your week go? My week was good. I actually found out that I was further ahead in my time than I thought, which is great. Hi, Aunt Dora. And I heard your visitor is going home soon. So your visit is drawing to an end. I'm sorry to hear that, but I hope you guys had fun together. Hi, Helen. Does justice have to work tonight? It's Friday, so I don't know what kind of schedule Amazon has, but hopefully he's done with his work week too. I'm not quite done with mine, but who's counting? Your week went good, Marjorie. How are you feeling? It's hot, right? It's hot. I'm staying in the house. Okay, he has to work tonight. So you're all on your own. So I know I can message you at two in the morning. <laughs> Hi, Robin. Good to see you. She's leaving Tuesday. Okay, I heard you're driving, Robin. That is a long, long way to drive. You guys be careful on your trip. Hi, Kimberly. <laughs> Hi, Mom. You never get a reminder at the last minute, but you made it. It was on the group. I don't know what to tell you. Hi, Violet. All right, so everything we have tonight is one and done. That means I only have one single piece of each one of these. So if you want it, you got to get it before somebody else does. I cannot reorder these. Like the Blockbusters, we have those all the time, and I usually tell you when I show those so that we can reorder them. These I cannot reorder. So we're going to start with two little sets that I have, and then everything else will be single. And I'm going to use this flat board tonight because it works a little bit better to pull up these long necklaces. They don't fall off the little shoulder of the bust this way. This one is in a very pretty yellowish orange. These are dewy beads. So they're a little bit kind of like frosted. They're faceted beads. Hi, Terry. You're new here. Okay. I'm glad to see you. Um, to buy something, just say sold and the number that you want. And invoices go out on Monday. So just send me your email in a private message and I will send you an invoice on Monday. And then once you pay that, I ship everything out on Tuesday morning. So I'm glad to have you here. This one is Eden Dew in orange. So we have these little yellowish orange. Hi, Julie. Little yellowish orange teardrop shaped faceted beads. They are semi-transparent. And then they are also in little silver frames up on the necklace chain. The earrings that come with it are those little yellowish orange teardrop beads as well, just like in the necklace. They are on a fish hook back. Let me put them on my assistant Linda here. She does all our modeling for us. She's been with me for quite a while. So this one is going to fall in the upper mid abdomen so right around mid abdomen for all this beaded pendant. And then the tassel falls down to the dropped waist. All these necklaces that have the chain on them have a two inch extension already included. So with the two inch extension, you could drop that down into the lower belly area. I also have a pair of upgraded earrings for this. It has that same teardrop shaped yellowish orange bead in the center and then it has an antique silver frame also in a teardrop shape they look like kind of look like flower petals to me in that beaded motif around that teardrop shaped bead so let me show you these together now that you've seen the size so this is what it would look like together you do not have to buy both pieces. If you don't want both pieces, just let me know which one you do want. This one's going to be number one for today. Let's see if I can get it off of here now. There you go. Caitlin is with us today. She's being my administrative assistant over here. We won't call it a secretary because that's outdated. She's my administrative assistant. She's doing all the 
entering onto the computer of things so that you get the right pieces and so that I know which ones they were. This one I showed the other day on our ring and bracelet show because I had a ring that came in that matched it. This is called Seaside Soiree. Seaside Soiree. So these are a light blue bead. Um, they're calling it Lake Blue. On my color chart, it is not quite ice blue. It's not quite that pale. So we have opaque beads and transparent beads in that same blue color, as well as some polished blue beads. This is two layers, but they're not full layers, if that makes any sense. They're hung from right under this bead here, so it's only half of a layer. The earrings that come with it are those same opaque blue beads on a fish hook back. Let me put that on Linda. So that top one is right about collar height, maybe just slightly below it. Let me pull it up a little bit. So her collar is going to be at the collarbones. So right here on your collarbones, that's where her shirt is hanging at. So it's about a quarter inch. Hi, Jennifer. Below that collar with the two inch extension that's on it, you could bring it down to mid chest right here. And it's going to hang between mid chest and the bust area. These are the upgraded earrings that I have for it in that same blue color, the pale blue oval in the center. These are called Cameo and Juliet in blue. They have a little rhinestone accents above and below, along with this pretty antiqued silver frame. This is the length of these earrings. So let me push mine out of the way. Okay, I missed a layer somewhere. There we go. <laughs> okay, the layers are getting away from me. There we go. So this is the length of these earrings. So these are an upgrade earring for that necklace. And I also got in a ring. You want both of those, Jennifer? You've got it. That's going to be number two. Also got in this ring. I do have two of these. This is called Bubbly Bonanza and has that oval blue bead in the center. Go along. Let's see. I'll try to get you a better picture on Instagram in just a second, Kay, uh, Kimberly. It's a little leaf motif on the sides. This is on the wide stretchy band. So these will fit sizes six through 10. This is the size. So I do have two of these. This is the only thing on the show I actually have two of. The earrings. And the necklace are going to belong to Jennifer, but I do have two of the rings available. So this is number two. There we go. Number three. You want the ring too? Okay. She wants all three. So I have one more ring in that color. This one is on the black metal. This is black beads on black metal. So our black metal is not quite jet black. It's like a charcoal black, if that makes any sense. And off black. Hi, Esley. Good to see you. These are little clusters of black beads. Some of them are faceted, and some of them are just the smooth, round, opaque beads. And the earrings are the smooth, round, opaque beads on the black fish hook backs. This is the length. So again, just about a quarter inch below that collar. Doesn't go, come too far down. With the two inch extension, it's gonna be about mid chest. So you can make it a little bit longer necklace if you'd like to. This one's called Time to Runway. Time to Runway in black. Number three. And tonight we're out of the 80s family feud question. So I know you all will be happy about that since we don't remember the 80s anymore. So we'll have something a little bit more up to date. <laughs> 90s. <laughs> okay, this one is Rocky Mountain Magnificence in multi. So these are little crackle stones, little rock. We have a round bead a rock-shaped bead. I don't know what else to call it. It's abstract. 
and then a polished silver bead on each one of these little clusters. We have them in blue, pink, green, and the yellow. So these will match any of our crackle stone bracelets, earrings, whatever in these colors. Yes, I like the bright colors in this, isn't it cute? The earrings that come with it are the small blue beads on a fish hook back. This one's set in silver. This one's about three eighths of an inch below that collar. So just a little bit longer than the other ones. With the two inch extension, it's still gonna hit about mid chest, maybe just below mid chest for this one. So this is Rocky Mountain Magnificence. And it is number four. If I can get my cards out, we'll be fine. Number four. Number five, Just polish this up really quick so it shines for you, Street Regal, because I wanted those stones to really shine, Street Regal. So these are the hematite stones, which are a dark gray in color. These are the mirrored type. So we have some that are transparent and some that are mirrored. This is more the mirrored type. They are faceted upside down teardrops. This is three small plates, so one with these five larger stones, and then two with the little side stones. They are hinged together so that they'll lay flat against your chest, no matter what shape you are. The earrings are also those hematite teardrops on a fish hook back. This is in the black metal as well. So. This one is about half an inch below the collar. With the two inch extension, it is gonna come down just below mid chest. So right at the top of the bust and Marjorie would like to claim that one. It's a good choice, Marjorie. Can't go wrong with hematite, right? So this one is number five, Street Regal. There you go. Now it's time to play Family Feud. And the way we play this, since we've got some new ones here, I ask the question, I'll tell you which number of the answer that we're looking for. I try to mix it up because some of us have faster internet than others, and some of us are faster with the answer than others. And it, so it gives us a little bit better chance of winning. At the end of the show, we will draw from the winners of the Family Feud questions, as well as everybody who attended. So you get one entry for attending, and one entry for each question that you win. So you can boost your chances of winning a free piece of jewelry by the end of the show by probably got all the questions right, five extra entries. So you'd get six entries into the drawing, which makes it much more likely that you're gonna win. All right, so our first question, I'm gonna take answer number four. There are five answers available. Hi, Jane. Jane's over on Instagram, Caitlin. Name a place where people hide things. A place where people hide things. That's answer number four out of five that will win. Where do you hide things? In the freezer, that was number five. Under the mattress. Would you believe that's not on there? In your bra, Ashley? Well, hopefully nobody's looking in there. <laughs> that was not on the, on the list. I'm sorry. <laughs> in the drawer was number two. Uh, dresser was not there. We'll say mattress was the bed. The bed was actually number one. In your car? Not in the car. Ooh, you're close with canister. You're really close with canister. The closet was number three. This is a specific kind of canister. All our grandmas probably had them. Not the flower canister. Not the Tupperware, not the wallet. 
in between the books. That's a good place to put it. Not the coffee can. You're close. Cookie jar. There we go. The cookie jar. So mom got that one first. Put your extra money in the cookie jar. Did anybody ever do that? I've heard of people doing it. I've never had a cookie jar in my house. I just put my cookies in a little like Rubbermaid container. So I don't have one. But I've heard that that was a good spot to put like your household money or your pin money, whatever you want to call it for the week. The money you were given. Sugar canister. Oh, it gets sticky in there. You'd have to put it in a Ziploc bag. You almost did, Jane. Mom was just slightly ahead of you. <laughs> I'm looking at both screens and yours popped up right after hers. You got it close. All right. Let me cross that one off so I know we did that one. Next up, got another multicolored necklace. I like multicolored necklaces because they can go with so many different things. It looks like they hung this one on there backwards. It happens. They put the tags on backwards sometimes. This one is called Tropical Storm in multi. You were right behind, Mom, Robin. It may display a little bit different on your end. It depends a lot on internet speeds and that type of thing. Hi, Carol. So the order I see things in is not always the order you see them in. This one is a bright pink teardrop. We also have a, I kind of call that split pea soup, split pea soup green and a medium gray. We also have some rippled or hammered little oval discs in between here to add some shine. The earrings are the pink teardrops on a fish hook back. Turn this one around again so that you can see the beads better. So this is the way it is gonna fit on Linda. Make sure oh, that one's not all the way out. It looked kind of long. So this one's about an inch and a half below this collar. With the two inch extension, you're gonna be able to bring it down here, which means it's gonna lay right across the bust here. So if you prefer that length, you just use the extension that is on here. This one is Tropical Storm. I'm trying to show you the discs, they're, they're trying to hide the little silver discs. This one is number six. Don't worry, we'll have plenty of chances. We always have plenty of chances. Can you fix the layers on that one for me? <laughs> yes, yeah, trying to trying to hide. We'll do the gold one first. Get all the beads to lay right. Sometimes you just have to give them a good little shake, you know. When you first get them out, give them a little shake so that the beads all lay right. Because there's always one, like this one, that doesn't want to cooperate. All right, this one is Ringleader Radiance. This is small gold rings. They're hammered, rippled rings. And then they have polished gold beads up above them. So it's basically two layers of rings and beads here. One layer of rings, one layer of beads hung from the same chain, which is also a pretty chain. The earrings that come with it are the gold beads, the polished gold beads. And this is on a gold fish hook back. Thank you. Hang on to it for just a second there. So I don't mess it up before I put it on the board. This one's about an inch below the collar. So with your two inch extension, you're gonna be able to bring that down. It's gonna hit right here again at the top of the bust, hang down onto the bust just a little bit. So this one is ring leader. See, I've managed to twist them around already. Look at that. Get back over there. <laughs> ring leader radiance in gold. And it is number seven. 
All right, let me swap Caitlin here. Put this one on the black background because it'll look a little bit better. This one is a three layered necklace. This is called Rural Reconstruction. Rural Reconstruction. It is in three layers. So this one is kind of a sage green on the bottom. There's a little marbled half circle bead and then a polished silver half circle below it. Then this one is kind of a peachy coral color, also marbled. And this one is a beigey tan, also marbled at the top. You, you want this one, Robin? Okay, that one's gonna be number eight. The earrings are the beigey tan with the polished silver. I'll show you how it lays. I'm gonna do my best not to tangle up the, or twist up the layers. So I love this one because it has so many layers. This one is about an inch below the collar. And then we have one that lays about mid chest and one that lays on the bust. And you can move it all down two inches. So that's gonna take you more into this range. So this one is Rural Reconstruction, belongs to Robin. And it is number eight. <laughs> yes, Helen, that is not a necklace for you. Helen's our expert tangler. Even if a necklace can't be tangled, she will find a way to tangle it. <laughs> I'm just teasing Helen. This one is Desert Plumes. Desert Plumes in orange. So these are little silver feathers. A nice linear detail on them. And orange crackle beads all along the top. The earrings are the orange crackle beads as well on a fish hook back. This one. is about half an inch below the collar with the two inch extension it's going to come down here just below mid chest with the feathers it's going to hang down to the bust so right in this area right here <laughs> the layers give you ma major anxiety that's why i like the ones where the layers are just at the bottom so you get that layered look without having to worry about them tangling up this is desert plumes in orange it is number nine. Number 10, this is a chunkier necklace. It's called Daytime Drama. Daytime Drama in black. So we have the black opaque beads going from this large one in the center to smaller ones up at the top. I call these donut spacers because they look kind of like a donut kind of a fat disc in between, and then these cloudy whitish gray beads. So they're kind of a transparent, very light gray or white, and then they have cloudy spaces in them. The earrings are the smaller black opaque beads on a fish hook back. This one is about an inch and a quarter below that collar. You can see it's a nice statement necklace, especially against that light white color. With the two inch extension, you'd be able to bring that down to where that big bead sits right here on the bus. So this one is daytime drama in black. And it is number 10, which makes it time for another family feud question. Caitlin, which number are we going to take? We've got one through five. Pick a number. Three. Number three. Okay, number 10 to Julie. Name something made with eggs. Something made with eggs. What do you put eggs in? 
Answer number three out of five gets this one. Sheesh, that's a good one. They did not put that on the list. Can you believe that? Cake was number one. We see where their priorities are at. And omelet was number two. <laughs> Cake first. Custard, that's a good one. They didn't put that one on here. They should have. Egg salad is also a good answer. Not on here. Muffins. Not muffins. Although we have some other variations. Oh, meringue. That's a good one. They probably didn't put that one on there because he only used the whites. Souffle is not on there. Waffles. Oh, you're getting close. French toast was on there. It's number four. Cornbread cookies. Carol, you got it. Cookies was number three. Pancakes was number five. So you have the last two. Cookies and pancakes. So you do see that their priorities were something sweet because we've got cakes, omelet, cookies, French toast, and pancakes. Can't help that sweet tooth, right? All right, I'm afraid to even bring this next one out. <laughs> I hate it when I only have one. I really do. This one is Iridescently Ice Queen. This is also a chunky necklace. These are transparent beads with that iridescent finish on it. Polished silver bead in the center. We also have some polished silver spacers. And then the earrings are those same iridescent transparent chunks on a silver fish hook back. This one is about half an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, it's gonna come down here to just the top of the bust. Robin would like this. If you want number nine, Robin, this one's gonna be 11. So this one is iridescently ice queen. You can see the iridescence on this is gonna reflect all those different colors. This one is number 11. Make sure we get Rob in the right one. Yes, number nine. Okay, got it. Wanted to make sure we got the right one. And if you ever don't hear me, Helen, I think you already have that one. Or do you have it in gold? Maybe you have it in gold. This one is Game Set Matchmaker in red. So we have a red rhinestone encrusted heart in the center. And then it has a silver outline heart. Okay, yeah, I think you might have the gold, you're right. So you can have that one. Silver outline heart that goes around the outside. The earrings are the red rhinestones on a silver fish hook back. So she does want that one. This one's about three quarters of an inch below that collar with the two inch extension. It'll lay right here about the top of the cleavage area. So we know that's prime real estate, right? It's where everybody looks anyway. So you might as well just put your jewelry there. <laughs> this is game set matchmaker in red. And it's number 12. Robin would like this one. Helen, I've got purple. Do you need to close your eyes? I'm just checking. I ordered some more purple too. Sorry. This one is Traveling Trendsetter. This one is in a plummy purple. So this one has little clusters of the plum and silver beads the round beads, and they go down to a faceted. Okay. Bye, Terry. And if you don't get a chance while we're live, you can always watch the replay and still claim. Faceted pear-shaped silver beads on the bottom. 
The earrings are the plum round beads on the bottom of a silver fish hook back. This one is about three eighths of an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, you can bring it down about mid chest. And then with the clusters, it's gonna hang down to the bust. So this one is Traveling Trendsetter in purple. And it is number 13. You know, paparazzi really does have more specific names for these. They just don't give them to us. They try to categorize them in one of the big colors, like purple, instead of telling us plum or lavender or whatever. But they really do have more specific colors. They go by the Pantone colors of the year. And so that's usually the palette that we will get jewelry in. This one is called Torrid Tide in blue. This, these start out as a midnight blue bead on the edges and they go down into kind of a distressed silver and blue in the center. It has that patina on it right in the center and it has the um, transparent, transparent beads in between it. The earrings are also the transparent beads and they are on a silver fish hook back. It is contagious. Go ahead and spread it, Helen. This one's about half an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, you're gonna be able to bring it right here to sit right above the bust. So this one, Torrid Tide in blue. And this one is number 14. Number 15. Yeah, I need to find some more purple blouses too. I have, all mine are in that like um, the royal purple or the jewel tone purple. Because that's what I like. But now I need some pale ones as well. This one is Sahara Solar Power. Sahara Solar Power. I like this one because if you're not really into the Southwestern or the Crackle, this is a smaller, daintier version that doesn't look quite as Southwestern as some of the others. They do have the turquoise Crackle beads in the center, and then they have like a silver wheel with teardrop cutouts. Okay, Robin would like this one as well. The earrings are the blue crackle beads on a fish hook back. Hi, Shannon. This one is about three eighths of an inch below that collar. And with the two inch extension, you're gonna be able to bring that down right about here. So about top of the cleavage. So this one belongs to Robin and it is number 15, which brings us to another family feud question. Hmm. Do I have my earrings available? No, this was actually my last pair. Um, if you want them, I can check with one of my friends that's here local and see if she has any. I loved these two. They're black and pink metallic and then silver on leather. So they have the three layers. Aren't they cool? All right, let's take answer number three on this one too. Okay, I'll check with her, Julie. Name something that makes a job a good job. I'm gonna take answer number three on this one. The pay, that's number one. Your boss was number two. No stupid people. <laughs> the benefits was number six. 
your workmates. Your workmates was absolutely right. So let's see. I think that's Marjorie. Got that one first. Retirement package, the employer, the benefits. Working alone, that would be great too. You enjoy it. Yes, that's number four, enjoyment. And number five was actually the atmosphere. So the atmosphere in your workplace. A couch and naps. Yes. I think we should take up the, um, the very Spanish idea of having that siesta at, mi at midday. Who else could use a nap at midday? I mean, I'm usually, you hit that one or two o'clock and it's like you hit a wall and you just want to put your head down and sleep. If I could have a short nap at one or two o'clock, I would be good for the rest of the day. But it doesn't work that way here. Yeah, Helen, I thought so. Violet could use one. Yeah, if we could get that midday nap, that would be terrific. Nobody believes in midday naps. That's why I work from home. Yes, you're right. The tech companies do know that it boosts production and you are starting to see some of those companies offer that as an option. You can stop and take a nap. This one I have in two colors. I'm showing you the green first. This is a very pretty sea green. This is called Trending Tropicana. So we have faceted teardrop beads below, a row of polished silver beads, and then the cloudy round green beads at the top. Trending Tropicana. Green. This is green. Uh, I also have blue. So the earrings are the cloudy beads, just a little bit bigger than they are in the necklace. They're on a fish hook back. This one lays about three eighths of an inch below that collar. With your two inch extension, you're gonna be able to bring that down. It's gonna hit about mid chest with the extension. And then with the beads, it's gonna lay right on the top of the bust. The other color that I have is also very pretty. It's a very pretty blue instead. So kind of a, this reminds me of a minty blue. I don't know what else to call it. That's what it reminds me of. Um, they just call it, oh, this is Elsa. That's right. Elsa's dress. So if you know about the movie Frozen, this is Elsa. So again, we have those same beads, the faceted teardrops on the bottom that I semi-transparent, the silver polished beads, and then the cloudy semi-transparent beads on the top. So these are trending Tropicana. Now you'll be able to see the colors next to each other. So we have that sea green and Elsa blue, one of each. They're number 16. So just tell me which color you want. Let's put this one on a different color so you can actually see it. Put something gold on a tan background, you're not going to be able to see it very well. You'd think I would know this. All right, and I'll turn the right way. This one is Inner Beauty in gold. So these are ovals in gold. Every other one is encrusted with rhinestones on the two long curves, long parts of the curve. So on this side and then this side, they have white rhinestones on every other one. The earrings are white rhinestones in a gold frame on a fish hook back. You'll probably be able to see this one better when I get it against my hand. That's usually when it works a little bit better. So this one is about half an inch below that collar. It's a little smaller, a little more delicate. The two inch extension is gonna bring it down to basically below mid chest and it's gonna sit right here. So between mid chest 
on the top of the bus. Now let's get it where you can see it really well. Okay, there we go. That's what those links look like. Sometimes, I don't know why it is, but they do show up better against my skin than they do against the backgrounds. This one's number 17. I don't know if the camera just focuses better or what the deal is. I give up. <laughs> this one is City Catwalk. They're calling this one gold because it is a mixture of gold and silver beads. So we always have the silver in there. We don't always have the gold with it. So this is a mixture of gold and silver seed beads. These remind me of crochet loops. I'd like to say braided, but they're not really braided. They remind me of crochet loops, especially that big hand crochet that you do now with the really thick yarn. That's kind of what it looks like to me. And then the earrings are double teardrops in those same seed beads, silver and gold. They're on a silver fish hook back. This is how it's gonna lay. So it's about an inch and a quarter below that collar. With the two inch extension, it's gonna lay down right about here. So right over the bust. This one is City Catwalk in gold and it is number 18. Number 19, Feast or Famine in gold. So Feast or Famine in gold has kind of the brush strokes. That's what it looks like to me. It's a little linear detail, but it looks like brush strokes on the polished gold. This one is hinged again so that it will lay flat against your breastbone and your chest, no matter what your shape is. The earrings are the little pieces. They, they're miniatures of these side pieces. They're also brushed. Yes, I love it when you wear that one, Helen. It looks so pretty on you. This is how that one lays. So it's about an inch below the collar. With the two inch extension, you can bring it down about here. So it's gonna lay between the middle of the chest and the bust again. So this one is Feast or Famine in gold. And it's number 19. I love it when you wear it with your African dress. It looks nice with the other things too, but I love it when you wear it with your African dress. This one is Flirtatiously Florida in blue. So this blue is a little bit of a teal blue. It's a lighter teal blue. These are abstract shapes, so they're not really round little discs. And they have also the round polished blue beads and then we have polished silver. These are little, I guess they're oval because they're not round either. A little bit elongated and they are rippled a little bit so that they reflect the light in different ways. I love how just a little bit of a ripple to a bead like this can make it so shiny. And then the earrings are those blue beads as well on a fish hook back. This does have just a touch of green in it, which is why I called it teal blue. Um, it's not much at all, but I'll let you know that it does have that touch of green. This one is about half an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, you'd be able to bring it down here, which is just below mid chest. It's gonna hang right here above the bust. So this one is Flirtatiously Florida in blue and it is number 20 which makes it time again for a family feud question
going to take answer number five out of six on this one. Number 20 to Carol. Thank you, Carol. Name a place where kids like to go. Place where kids like to go. Number five out of six. The pool. Oh, that's a good one. That one was not on here. Can you believe that? The park or playground was number one. Uh, amusement park was number three. So that takes in Disneyland. Chuck E. Cheese. I like to go to Chuck E. Cheese. Your kids like to go to Target. <laughs> okay. An arcade was not on there. Let's see. I'm making sure I'm not missing any. A movie was number four. So the movies was number four. Skating movies, a carnival. You're getting close. The beach is number six. Always grandma's house. Why is grandma's house not on here? The question is name a place where kids like to go, Kimberly. They're friends. That's a good one. The circus. Yes, the circus. That was Shannon. And there's one other one that we didn't get that also has animals. Where else do they like to go to see the animals? My granddaughters love animals. They're so cute. They get so excited. We have a little kitten that's about 10 weeks old now and they just love to play with them. Yes, the zoo. The zoo was actually number two. So we got them all. Look at how smart we are. All right, this one is an asymmetrical necklace and it is a little bit longer than some of our other asymmetrical necklaces or short necklaces. This one's called Prismatic Princess. So it has these navy blue pearly beads all along this one side with the smoky beads on the inside making up kind of this Y shaped and then down here at the bottom of the tassel is some more of those navy blue beads. The earrings that come with it are the navy blue beads as well on a fish hook back. So this is for you if you like something just a little bit different. Doesn't look like something everybody else has. So this is the length, the bottom of that Y hits or the V and the Y hits the mid chest and then our beads go down through the upper abdomen. With the two inch extension, you would move this all down and it's gonna go from about here to here with that V to the bottom of the Y. Also love the smoky beads on here. They remind me of the hematite. So this one is Prismatic Princess in blue. It is number 21. We did have our dedicated earring show on Tuesday night this week. If you missed that, you might wanna go back and watch that. We had 50 pairs of earrings. Um, so a lot of them are still available. Tuesday night's not a busy night. So if you want some earrings, go back and watch that. After this week, because we're, we're gonna cut out that Tuesday night show and the Thursday day show, I'll be mixing in the earrings, the rings, and the bracelets with just our normal shows on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. This one's not going to lay very well on the flat bust, but this is called Put On Your Party Dress in black. I do also have one of these in a pale pink. And the pale pink one is pearly beads. These are black opaque beads, and they have these little bars as spacers that have white rhinestones on them, holding these two strands together. The earrings are the opaque black beads as well on a fishhook back, which they're trying to turn themselves around in there. There we go. Also not gonna lay on Linda very well. It will lay better on you. So this one's just right above that collar. That's probably about where it's gonna lay with the two inch extension, you're gonna be able to bring it down to right above mid chest. 
tags also getting in the way. They do that. So this one, let me hold it like this, is party pearls. No, not party pearls. Put your party dress on, sorry, in black. We do have one called party pearls too. So I get them confused. This one's number 22. Thank goodness I don't have to be perfect to do this job, right? Because I would never make it. This one is called Break the Cycle in black. So this is the black metal. Lots and lots of circles. We love our circles. And they're delicate circles. They're not big, chunky circles. So we have them in a range of sizes. And then some of our small ones are the hammered circles. There we go. Oh, thank you, Robin. <laughs> I don't feel like I do. I'm kind of a mess, but that's okay. So lots and lots of the circles in the black metal. And the earrings are also the black circles, just one on each in that medium size. And they're on the black fish hook back. This one is hanging right along the collar as well. But with the two inch extension, you could bring that down. It's gonna start right about where it's ending right now, which means it's gonna end right about on the bust. So you would take this whole section and just move it down here. So this one is Break the Cycle in black. It is number 23. How many of you like long necklaces? I didn't put a lot of long necklaces in this show because I know most of you prefer the short ones. So tell me if you like the long necklaces so that I know what to put in next time. I got new stuff for Sunday, isn't that great? I like the new stuff for Sunday. This one is also in the black metal. This is called Let's Get This Fashion Show On The Road. Number 23 to Julie. So these are large links in that black metal. They have the little smoky crystal type beads and some black metal um, faceted beads as well. So little clusters, two of the little black metal ones with one of the smoky crystals on each one of these links. So that one that wants to flip over. <laughs> the earrings are the smoky colored crystal beads as well, crystal type beads. They're faceted like little crystals. That's why we call them that. They're on a black metal fish hook back. This one is hanging right around the collarbones, long and medium. Okay. Short and long and the necklaces that are smaller. That's good to know. So with the two inch extension, you'd be able to bring it down right about here. So it's gonna just go about an inch and a half underneath the collar. I am a total klutz. If you don't know that about me, I'm a total klutz. So when I wear long necklaces, I get them caught in things and I break them. This is called, let's get this fashion show on the road in black. So usually, even if I have a long necklace, I will pull it up further so that I don't get it caught on anything. This is number 24. Yeah, I've never been terribly coordinated. I was terrible at sports because I have two left feet. I can't dance. So, you know, pretty much anything that I should be able to do, I really can't because I'm terribly uncoordinated. I'm working on it. It's, it's not getting any better, though. <laughs> this one is called Box Office Bombshell. Box Office Bombshell. These are silver pearly beads. So they're a medium gray. This is not the pale gray, but some more medium gray. And they're alternating in size. So we have some that are a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller. And then we have white rhinestones in a row right up above that to add some sparkle to the necklace. I'm always a work in progress. 
And honestly, I don't know if we're ever going to get there, but we'll give it a shot, right? The earrings are the gray pearly beads as well on a fish hook back. <laughs> this one is about three eighths of an inch below that collar with the two inch extension. We'll be able to bring that down to mid chest and it's going to lay right above the bust because of the length of those little beads. So this one is box office bombshell. And it is number 25, which makes it time for another question. Stick answer number six out of six on this one. Let's see if you can get this one. Name something made of leather. Something made of leather. Other than my earrings. A belt, that's a good one, that was number two. Wallets were number five, purses were number three. A saddle. How'd you get that so fast? A saddle. Looks like Carol was the first one to get that. Boots and shoes is number one, of course. Belt, purse, let's see. Did we have that one? Holsters, good. That was not on there. Car seats, definitely, at times. Coat, that was number four. So that was the last one we hadn't gotten, Violet. So saddle was the right answer. We're doing well. Or maybe Carol's doing well. Yeah, you came in just behind her again. I'm sorry, Robin. <laughs> It's like a fraction of a second too late. Maybe when you get to Florida, your internet will be just slightly faster and you'll come in sooner than everybody else. <laughs> Tell Aunt Dora it's her internet. Your bra. Um, I think Madonna had that down. Pretty sure one of those bras she wore was leather. The pointy one we talked about last week. <laughs> All right, this one is Pacific Pageantry in silver. So these are also silver pearly beads. This one shaped like a barrel. And then these are kind of a, an abstract round bead, more like a natural pearl is, with some smoky crystal type beads in the rounder and then the oblong shapes. This is on thin metal wire. So it kind of looks like a floating necklace when you put it on. Three layers. The earrings are the silver barrel-shaped beads on a fish hook back. This is what it looks like on Linda. Of course, since these are little metal. Um, <laughs> metal threads, for lack of a better word. You can always bend these a little bit to make them lay the way you want them to. The top one's gonna be above the collar. The second one is at the collar. And the third one is about three eighths of an inch below that collar. You do still have a two inch extension. So you can bring this all down and it's gonna lay right about here. So right through the center of the chest. So this one is Pacific pageantry in the silver and it's number 26. Um, I would say filament, but it's not really. The filament is usually the clear. These are very, very thin metal. Filament's more like fishing wire type, the monofilament. I forgot what I was doing. I had to think about that and then I <laughs> forgot what I was doing. Okay. It's a day. It's Friday. <laughs> All right. This one is Spring Daydream in pink. 
So these are bright pink abstract beads. They're kind of a thick diamond shape in that hot pink. They are transparent. And then we have some little beads in a polished silver in between. You can see this is hung on a large gauge chain. And then we have that second chain up there to give you that layered look. But again, because it's only hanging from here, you don't have enough to get that tangled, which is great. So we can't tangle this one, Helen. <laughs> the earrings are those same pink beads that are on the necklace. They're hanging on a fishhook back. This one, that top chain is going to hang right there at and above your collar. With the two inch extension, you're going to be able to bring this all down to about here. So it's going to hang between the middle of the chest and the top of the bust. So this one is Spring Daydream in pink. And it's number 27. Somehow I got all my pink stuff grouped together. <laughs> and this one is barely pink. I will just tell you that. So I had one like this last week in silver. This is the pink version. This is called Forever in My Heart. We have a little filigree heart on the bottom here in silver. Then we have a silver chain. And on one side, we have these very pale pink pearly beads, making this an asymmetrical necklace. The earrings are also the pale pink pearly beads on the fish hook back. This one is about two inches below the collar. So this is a nice mid-length necklace with the two inch extension. You're going to be able to bring it down here and that heart is going to lay right over the center of the bust. So this is what it looks like on Linda. Don't ask me why she's named Linda. I don't know. That's just her name. It came with her, I guess. This is Forever in My Heart in pink. And it's number 28. This one is also a very, very pale pink. And I didn't sort them this way. This is just, it happened to be the way that I grabbed them off of the hooks back there. She should be a twiggy. She looks like a twiggy. This one is called Party Time in pink. I also have this in a pale blue. But this one has pale pink pearly beads along with silver rings. So a little larger rings down here around the beads and then smaller rings up here above those pearly beads. So lots of rings and little pearly beads. 28 to Kimberly. The earrings are the pale pink pearly beads as well on that fish hook back. This one hangs about an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, it's going to sit here right above the bust and hang onto the top of the bust. Yes, these, these little rings, the circles are addictive. Everybody loves the circles. So this is party time in pink. If you want to see the blue, let me know. I do have it. It's back behind the board. Yes, 28 is the pink pearls and silver heart. So this one's number 29. Party time in pink. And I can send Caitlin back there to grab it if I need to. She's telling me no. That doesn't work. Did you ever try to tell your mom no? Not a smart decision, Caitlin. Number 30. This is triple the beat. Oops, the lobster clasp around there. Come on back here where you're supposed to be. Triple the beat in red. So this one is a red rhinestone encrusted heart around the outside. And we've got a smaller heart inside it and another tiny heart on top. This is a cord type 
silver chain. The earrings are the red rhinestones in this silver frame on a fishhook back. It took just a minute. My brain stuttered. Nobody else has ever does that, I know. This one is about half an inch below that collar. With the two inch extension, you're gonna be able to bring it down to about mid chest and that heart is gonna lay right here in the top of the cleavage. You might have violet, I'm not sure, because I think I had more than one of these at one time. So this is triple the beat in red. And it is number 30. This makes the time for another question. Let's take answer number four on this one. Name a part of a shirt. Sold 30 to Robin. Name a part of a shirt. Answer number four. The yoke. That one actually wasn't on there. The sleeve is number two. The buttons was number six. The hem was not on here. The collar was number one, of course. Gotta have a collar. Button hole, button plaque, the pocket was number three. We've got collar, sleeve, pocket, and buttons. The cuff, the cuff was number four. How do you keep getting these, Carol? I'm gonna have to ask non-Carol questions. The cuff was number four. Number five was the tail, the shirt tail. See, Carol would have gotten both of those. <laughs> you have to ask some on Carol questions. Carol, what do you not know about? Let me do that next. These other ladies are not going to get a chance. Go back to the 80s. <laughs> if we go back to the 80s, then Carol will not get any of them. <laughs> we did that last week. Yeah, you said it too, Kimberly. You were right behind her. All right, this one is called Turn It Up in Red. Turn It Up in Red. These are textured. They're very finely hammered. Silver rings. And we have, <laughs> we have the red crystal type beads hanging in between these. So we've got red and silver. And the earrings are the red crystal type beads on fish hook back. This one hangs right at the collar. That circle just does not want to hang right. Get back in there. <laughs> With the two inch extension, you'll be able to bring it down to mid chest. So it's going to hang between mid chest and the bust. Except for the one, you know, problem child ring. There we go. I just had to shake it out a little bit. So this is called Turn It Up in red. And it is number 31. Let's do a couple longer ones. What? <laughs> Caitlin says she's starving. She says I better stop the show soon she, so she can eat. <laughs> she doesn't need to eat, right? This is socialite of the season. We have a light pink crystal tight bead here at the top of our silver tassel. And then our earrings are also the light pink crystal tight beads. And I got to turn this one around because the fish hook is turned. There we go. It's light pink crystal tight beads on a fish hook back. This one, I have something about the tassels. I just love the tassels. I don't know what it is but they're just cute. So this one 
that bead is going to hang right below the bust with the tassel going all the way through number 17 to Kimberly, going almost all the way through the abdomen, stopping just short of this dropped waist. With the two-inch extension, though, you'd be able to bring that down into the lower belly area. It's going to put that crystal bead right about mid-abdomen. So this one, socialite of the season. Um, Kimberly would like to see 17. Do you still have that? No. Number 32. Caitlin said she threw it away. I don't believe her. Kimberly, this one was 17. One with the ovals. Thank you. And then this one is also a longer necklace. This one is Marina Majesty in black. So we have black opaque round beads. We have some faceted ovals. We're gonna call them faceted ovals in kind of a transparent black and also in the polished silver with the ring type chain in between them. So it's made up of little rings and then at the bottom, you have three chains to make it look layered, but without enough to tangle. Again, I do have to specify that. You cannot, you'd really have to work hard to tangle that much chain. The earrings are the round opaque black beads on a fish hook back. I do have to say that because Helen will try to tangle it just to spite me, I think. If I say it cannot be tangled, she will prove me wrong. So this one, the beads, this is nice because the beads start right up here below your collar line. So even if you're on video, like I am right now, see, you'd only see that upper part and you would see the beads. And then you still have some down here in the lower part, along with your layered chains going all the way down to the dropped waist. With the two inch extension, you'd be able to bring that down into the lower belly if you wanted to. So this one is Marina Majesty in black. It is number 33. I'll put some more necklaces, uh, long necklaces in the show for Sunday since I didn't have very many today. Now that I know that you like them, Julie. This is quite quintessence. Yeah, you can look at the tag. Quite quint quintessence, I almost can't say it, in purple. So we have transparent purple beads in this oval shape. We also have some opaque purple ovals. And then these are almost completely clear, these elongated ovals. We also have some little white and silver crystal type beads on this one. This one sold to Carol. I do also have this in pink. It's not in the one and done show because I actually have two of them. The earrings are the little white and silver crystal type beads. So this is the length of that one. So again, your beads are going to start in the top. They're going to end mid abdomen. With the two inch extension, you could bring that down closer to the dropped waist though, Carol. So this one, quite quintessence in purple. And it's number 34. You can go ahead and do the drawing, Caitlin, and I will do one last piece before Caitlin beats me up over here. This one, I love these Y-shaped necklaces. Yeah, you can double up. If you wanted to, you could wear the pink and the purple together or two pinks. So I love the shape of these necklaces. This is Crystal Couture in green. So this is not quite an army green, but it's kind of headed that way. It's between the lime green and the army green. This has a faceted oval bead transparent at the bottom 
We have some faceted silver beads, and some pear-shaped green beads, and also some round ones. And then we have some round opaque beads in a slightly darker green. The earrings are the pear-shaped green beads. Yeah, it is kind of a tree green, isn't it? The pear-shaped green beads. This one, the V of that Y is right there. Okay, Carol wants this one too, right there at the collar. And then your little tail coming down almost to mid chest, but with the two inch extension, you could bring that down and have it hang here instead. So this one belongs to Carol. It is Crystal Couture in green. It is number 35. Okay, so Sunday we'll be back at 7. We will have new things as well as some of the things that I already have in stock. Um, Carol, I'll try to remember to put the pink one in the Sunday show for you so you can see what the pink one looks like. The pink one, like the purple necklace you just got. Um, invoices will go out Monday, so you can add to them anytime through Sunday night, basically midnight. Um, and they will go on that Monday invoice. So even if you missed a Sunday show, you can watch the replay. Go ahead and message me through Sunday night and I will add it to your Monday invoice. And after those are paid on Monday or early Tuesday, your packages go out on Tuesday. So they should only take between one and three days, depending on where you live, to get to you. Um, Julie, you are our winner tonight. So Julie is the winner of the free piece. Let me put that on my piece of paper here so I don't forget. Uh, fashion fixes are coming in Monday, so we will have those on the Wednesday show. I did already post the pictures of them on the Facebook pages and Instagram pages, so if you have not seen those, there are five sets of four pieces that are coordinated with each other that we have every month, and um, those pictures are on my business pages. Thank you. Have a good weekend, Robin. Thank you for saying have a good weekend. I appreciate it. Thank you for spending your time with me this evening. We had some fun, got to see some pretty things. So what more could you ask for? Now I'm going to let Caitlin go eat and we'll see you all later. Bye.